Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection and how I store it. So here's all my MAC shadows, Too Faced, um, Urban Decay, and a few Sugar Peel and Makeup Forever shadows. So I'll just zoom in on them real quick. So this one's um, Hello Kitty, uh, that's our Wonder Woman, and then here's some of the Too Faced um, palettes. And that's just um, MAC shadows that I just depotted and kind of made like as a go-to nude palette, or smoky eye palette. Um, there's the Naked 2 palette, and here are my Z palettes. They just hold whatever eyeshadows you want. So, I have three of those. This is like my nude palette, I guess. And these have um, Sugar Peel and Makeup Forever. And these are the MAC um, single shadows. So these are all my bronzers, highlighters, and blushes mixed together, so I'll just zoom in on them. This is the Big Sun Disc from Sephora. Um, these are MAC. Um, all these are MAC. Um, don't remember this one. I know this is my Benefit Hula, which is a matte bronzer. That's the best bronzer ever. This, These are beauty powders from MAC. And these are NARS, three NARS blushes. Another MAC, another MAC highlighter, and this is a blush palette from CoastalScents.com, so if you're just starting out, this will be really good to get. I think it's like under, or around $20, so yeah. And up here are my, um, like, this corner right here is my drugstore, so this is the e.l.f. one from Target. It's, um, like a perfect dupe for NARS, Laguna, and Orgasm, so, um, $3, yeah. I wouldn't buy the other one because it's a perfect dupe. Um, Hard Candy, forget this one, I think it's Ruby Kisses, um, Physician's Formula, uh, Shimmer Brick from Physician's Formula also, and another e.l.f., um, yeah, bronzer and highlighter. Um, this is Hard Candy, they try to kind of make it look like the benefit packaging, which was right here. Um, this is my favorite highlighter, it's called, um, I don't know what it's called actually, it's from Forever 21. It's just a golden highlight. It's really pretty. And this is Hard Candy's like Moonbeam Illuminator. This is the same thing almost as the um, candlelight powder from Too Faced. So yeah, I wouldn't buy that because I bought that and had to replace it or take it back because it was like the same. And this is only eight dollars. Okay, so here's my lip glosses and lipsticks. All these in this little container right here are Mac. So I buy everything like nude and pink because that's pretty much the only color everywhere is nude and pink. So that's why I don't have that many. And then this one on the end here is actually NYX. It's um, called Hippie Chick. And it's actually like my favorite color ever. It's like a coral. It's not picking up on camera, but it's like the perfect coral color ever. So yeah. And here's the glosses. I just have a couple sparkly ones from MAC. A Dazzle Glass. The Lady Gaga. Um little lip gloss, a couple of other lip gloss, and these are OCC lip tars. These are like the best things ever. Like they last all day and you just need like a tiny little bit. So those are Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics and the color you see is what it comes out on your lips. So you have like a lavender, pink, purple, and these are my NYX glosses. I, I do like those. Um, I wish they didn't smell so funny, but yeah, I do like them. These are, sorry, these are the, yeah, the Milani 3D glitter glosses, and these are so comparable to the MAC um, Dazzle Glass. So yeah, that's why I don't buy many of these, because I always buy these. And these are just a few lip pencils, I don't have that many, like, I have um, some NYX ones. And the Cargo ones, these are, like, if you want to have, like, a really, really new lip, you can, like, outline your lips with it, or erase your lips with it. It's not really picking up either. There it goes. But yeah, it's like completely nude. So I use it to like erase my lips color completely. So I can have like a really nude lip. And these are um, all hard candy from Walmart. And this is my favorite um, drugstore lipstick ever. It's called yeah, Fire Alarm by Hard Candy. And these are just um, Jordana. Um, they're 
actually really pretty. The it's like a baby pink. So they were only reason I grabbed so many is because they were like 49 cent. So I literally like, like just grabbed the whole um, shelf full at the store, and this lady was probably like, "Lady, what the hell are you doing?" But yeah, I grabbed them all. And so yeah, they're just um, you know pinks and corals, and mostly all of them are that same cotton candy. But yeah. And this is um, my Smashbox and Pout. And this is like the prettiest baby pink ever. So if you have Saint Germain, it's like so pretty over it and even makes it like look a little bit lighter pink. So yeah. Okay, so here are my face products. Um, foundations, primers, eyeshadow primers, face primers, and moisturizers. This is the stuff that I reach for um, almost every day. Um, so I have my Fix Plus. I prime my face with Prime Time. Uh, I'll put this on in place. It says replace instead of a daily moisturizer. I've been using this um, from Neutrogena. And it says anti wrinkle cream. Um, I haven't seen a difference, but I know it feels awesome. Like, you know, like, you know, really smooth, like you're not wearing anything. So I really love that moisturizer. Um, back Prep and Prime for fine lines and wrinkles. After that, if you don't want to wear. Um, any makeup at all that day, I do recommend this. I know it's pricey, but if you watch Tiffany D's um, review on this, Vitazine Origins Moisturizer, like, she'll convince you to get it, because she's who convinced me to get it. Um, I don't like tinted moisturizers, and that's kind of what this is, but, like, it doesn't look like that orangey, cakey, you know, tinted moisturizer look. It seriously looks like, you know, you're wearing nothing, but you have that real pretty, you know, just pretty glow. I don't know. How to describe. I have two MAC foundations here. This is the Matchmaster 1.0. And I'm really pale, so it's hard to find a foundation. This is a full coverage, and this one is like a light coverage, and this is the Studio Sculpt, or light to medium. Um, I, I don't really like this, too. Like, I've always used my drugstore stuff, so yeah. Um, I don't really like those. I use them when I'm out of other stuff and to make tutorials, but that's not my everyday foundation. Um, I wanted it to be, but it wasn't. <laughs> so, I do use the MAC Marilla Skin Finish every single day. I um, have a couple back backups of those, like, so I'm um, in light in this. So, yeah, this is my favorite setting powder. And, um, this is just a MAC Press Powder. And this is Neutrogena. This is supposed to be the dupe of the NARS Sheer Glow, um, and number 10. Um, I, I like it okay. It's alright. Um, this is my favorite drugstore powder, um, L'Oreal True Match. So yeah, this is by far my favorite, um, drugstore powder. It compares almost to this right here. Um, this is actually my favorite drugstore foundation, the Color Stay. Um, I think it's around $10, and for the price, I just feel like it's, you know, like just as good as the MAC, and it's, um, all these foundations are like one shade too dark for me, because like I said, I'm really pale, so I take this color right here, and it's 405 True Blend, and it's like a really, really white, pale foundation. And I mix this with pretty much every foundation that I have, because it just makes it like a shade or two lighter. So any of these that I use, I will pump like three, two or three pumps of that anyway. So then I just have my eye primers, um, Mac Parnelly Paint Pot, um, Eye and Lip Primer. I think this is maybe BH Cosmetics. Um, just a sample of the Too Faced. Here's some more eye primers. This one's officially obsessed. This one is NYX. Really like this. It's a white base. And this is the MAC. Um, yeah, Studio Finish. I like this to kind of like, um, you know, for like little redness and maybe do my eyebrow sometimes. And I'm really, really liking this. Um, NYX HD. Okay, so this is going to be my mascaras, my eyeliners, um, eye bases, gel liners, all the stuff like that. Um, the first I'll do is um, I have some, um, what do you call these, glitter liners from NYX. I have these two from Urban Decay. Um, I have these three from Ruby Kisses, which I really like. Um, I have a bunch of the NYX pencils, the jumbo pencils. I used to have a couple... MAC Shade Sticks on Urban Decay, one of these jumbo glide on pencils. I got a bunch of liners. Um, these are the new 
slide on liners by NYX. Or they're not that new, but you have to make sure it says slide on. Let me find it first. Yeah, right here on the end where it says slide on. Okay, these are the reason I didn't buy because I have I swatched like um, I know the tropical green, the jet black. Um, I swatched a bunch of them to the Urban Decay um, glide on pencils, and they actually were like even better dupes. Like they match perfectly, and they didn't rub off or anything. So I was in Ulta doing that one day. So I bought like every slide on pencil that NYX had. And here is all the um, black liners that I've tried. I've tried the, what is this, the hip one. Here's the NYX Jet Black, which is by far my favorite drugstore liner ever. It does not move. It goes on very creamy and black. And here's the Liquify by, um, I think it's Milani. And that's the 24-7-0. And I've also swatched the Perversion, new, the new one from Urban Decay, to the NYX Jet Black. And still, I like it better. Um, these are some of my eyeliners, or liquid liners. Here's an NYX one. That one's okay. My favorite still is the NYC liquid liner. It's only $2.99. Really black, really matte. Um, the L'Oreal Intense. This is the felt tip pen. I like that one pretty good. Um, more NYC liners. That's really my favorite liner. Okay, down here are some color tattoo pots and I will take the lids off of these in just a second I'm just gonna tell you what they are so they don't dry up so here they are with the lids off um, there's the two color tattoo ones right there there's the benefit tattletale which is it's a really pretty sheen like I don't know like a pretty golden color it could be used as a highlight or even to highlight your cheeks I just don't really like as eyeshadow um danger zone by MAC which is a grayish taupey color um the two black track and wave one fluid lines and Black gel liner, chill liner, and bronze liner by Ruby Kisses, which came from, I'm trying to think, I think like just my local beauty supply store where they carry Ruby Kisses stuff. So yeah, that's all my eyeliners, mascaras, and pencils. Okay, on to mascaras. These are the mascaras I use the most. My favorite right now is definitely this one. It's called Scandalize, the big orange one from Rimmel. And I like that because this used to be my favorite mascara, the Bad Gal by Benefit, and it, this is twenty dollars, and you know this is five dollars, so and it does the exact same thing to me. So this one's my favorite for right now. I use this one a lot, and I used to use the orange, orange one before I used the purple one, but now they like made the purple one better. I don't know what they did to it, but it's better. Um. These two have like tiny brushes. I use them on my lower lash line. And this L'Oreal Voluminous is pretty good too. And then there's some other just random ones. There's another Rimmel. And then this is my brow stuff. Um, this is an e.l.f. brow gel that I really like. Um, an angled brush, a concealer brush. I use this Maybelline PowerPoint um, concealer on my brows in Ivory. That's the best concealer I've found to do my brows with actually. I just like the way it dries and the way it finishes, and it kind of highlights your brow too. And I use these Maybelline Red Little Blonde pencils for my eyebrows or Omega for MAC. So the rest of the video is just going to be kind of like what I didn't show you in the um, makeup collection video because I mainly showed like my favorite products and what I use the most. And there are some um, products I'm about to show you that um, you know weren't in there. So here's again where I keep my palettes, and on top of this cart right here. I have my other palettes, and I just keep my makeup in this cart that I got from Office Depot. But yeah, anyway, um, so I just have an e.l.f. palette, um, a couple officially obsessed palettes, um, a BSC palette, Coastal Scents 88 palette, um, a few of these little e.l.f. encyclopedia palettes that I first started off with. Um, Another BSC palette, and one I just received not too long ago, um, May Sheer, I don't know, and then there's my Naked palette. I got this little thing right here from Hobby Lobby, because a lot of people ask where I get the zebra thing, it's like a file thing. So in my top drawer, um, I've already put some of the stuff back from the video, so if you see it, that's why, um, but I'll show you how I organize my cart. So the top drawer is just going to be liquid foundations, and these little things right here come from uh, Walmart. They're like a dollar. They come in different sizes in the kitchen section. 
So this would be my powder drawer. This is where I keep all the powders. Just lots of different powders. I actually do like this Trublin um, setting powder, but I never use it because it's like a loose powder and it just gets everywhere. So, but it's, yeah, it's really good. For the third drawer will be blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. I just kind of stuck them all in one drawer. The fourth drawer is kind of like, um, I don't know, what, I don't know what this drawer is. It's kind of like where I throw all my Mac like little paint pots and um, Mac samples, stuff that I just bought that I don't want to forget about. So I'll just throw it right here, like lip, the lip tars and pigments. I will throw that. Um, my two face palettes are here. That's where I keep those for right now. Um, next door is going to be back here. It's just like, um, liners that I don't really use. I guess they're like wet and wild liners. Um, mascaras I don't really use. I need to throw those out actually. More liners, more glitters. Here's where I keep my colored like paint pots or bases. Uh, this drawer, um, it's just kind of it was a spare drawer because I like combined all my highlight and bronzer and blush drawer. So I just have my single NYX shadows in there. And these are empty because um, the sugar pill palette, um, some of the colors are in the um, eyeshadow part that I did in the video. Um, I just keep my sharpeners in here, that's why it's that messy. And then some shade sticks and pen jumbo pencils in there. Um, this is my lip gloss drawer. Um, a lot of different random lip glosses actually. But yeah, Jordana, Mac, um, what do you call it? Hard Candy, Sephora, um, the EOS lip balms, the little Dollar Tree one. I thought it was cute because I had a cat. Um, you know, Forever 21 little glosses. And then I still have, you know, my regular lipsticks up on my desk, like right here. Um, here's my um, Wet n Wild drawer. So I have all, well, I think I have all the Wet n Wild palettes. Um, all the first ones anyway. Vanity, Greed, Pride. This is just a eyebrow quad. Um, I Dream of Greeny. But yeah, all of those. I um, have a few of these like Color Me Glow palettes. Or Wet n Wild palettes. The, which one is that? Lust. I really like that one. The pink one. There's an All My palette. Um, the bigger ones, um, I don't know what this is, I think it's probably just some kind of collection from Walmart during Christmas. Some more Color Me palettes, and just some single stuff in there. Okay, the next drawer is all my BSC products when I used to promote, so, um, I won't really go through all that because it would take me, like, a long time. So yeah, I'll still use it in some videos and do some dramatic looks. And then this drawer is crazy, that's why I didn't show it again. Um, this is like all pigments, all glitters and pigments. So yeah, there's like all kinds of different brands. Um, MAC, BSC, Calypso, NYX, just any brand. Micabella, or Micabella. I actually made this myself, like I just took all my NYX glitters and got this little bead storage thing from Walmart and just like kind of stuck them all together in the tower. So yeah, that's all my makeup and that's how I store it. So if you have any questions or if you want to see um, any other kind of videos like fingernail polish, perfume, um, anything like that, just leave it down below. And I hope you like my makeup collection video and thanks for watching guys. Bye.